Hello everyone. Welcome to Solid Tutorials. This is chapter number 4 of the After Effects 2023 complete tutorial. In this chapter, I'll show you how to create your own 3D animated text in After Effects. You don't need any plugins to achieve this 3D animated text effect. It's completely free and customizable according to your preferences. This tutorial is designed step by step and is beginner friendly, suitable for both newcomers and experienced editors. So, let's dive right in and save you some valuable time. Once you've launched After Effects, you'll notice a new composition button at the bottom of the project panel. Click on it to create a new composition. Feel free to name your composition anything you'd like. I'll name mine 3D text. Now, within the composition settings, navigate to the 3D renderer section. Here, you'll need to make a few adjustments. Choose Cinema 4D from the renderer options, and then hit the OK button to finalize the composition settings. Let's move on to editing the text. Right-click within the composition window, go to New, and select Text. Type in your desired text. For this example, I'll use 3D text. After typing the text, make sure to align it properly. Access the Align panel to adjust the alignment of your text. Now, head to the timeline below. You'll notice a small box indicating the 3D layer option. Click on it to activate the 3D layer. In case you don't see this option, click on the toggle switches slash modes option below to reveal it. With the 3D layer activated, proceed to the text properties and expand them. Within the text properties, you'll find the geometry options. Open this section and make the necessary adjustments. In the geometry options, select angular for the bevel style and set the extrusion depth to 100. Next, create a new camera. Right click, Go to New, and choose Camera. Name your camera as you wish. For the camera type, select Two-Node Camera, and opt for the preset 35mm. Keep the rest of the camera settings at their default values. Click OK to confirm these settings. Now, your text can be animated in 3D. As you can see, I'm moving the text around within the composition window to demonstrate the 3D effect. You can also adjust the position of the text. Right click again, go to new, and select light. This will bring up light settings. Give your light a suitable name. Choose the light type as parallel, and leave the remaining settings as they are. Confirm the light settings by clicking OK. At the bottom right corner of the composition window, you'll find the active camera option. Click on it and choose top from the list. This action reveals light settings on the screen. Adjust these settings, mirroring what I'm demonstrating. Fine tune the start and end points of light transparency. To duplicate the parallel light on the timeline, select a parallel light and press Ctrl plus D. This duplicates the light. Adjust the settings of the duplicated light to contrast with the first parallel light. Modify the transparency points oppositely. This step creates an intriguing visual effect. Return to the Active Camera option on the right side of the composition window. Switch back to Active Camera from top. As a result, your text will truly begin to appear 3D. Feel free to zoom in or out of the composition window for a clearer view. Before proceeding, reposition your 3D text slightly. This helps ensure you've correctly followed the settings so far. Observe that our 3D text looks impressive, indicating that our settings are on point. Let's continue. Now, let's introduce some 3D text background colors to add vibrancy to your design. I'll right-click on the project panel, go to Import, 
and select the relevant files. You can download these files for free using the link in the description. I'll choose a text background and import it. Drag this background file into a new composition. This opens the file in a new composition, appearing in the project panel. Return to the previous composition named 3D text. Drag and drop the newly created composition into this one. Right click on the layer within the timeline and choose environment layer. Although the background file doesn't yet appear inside the text, we'll bring it in through settings. Expand the 3D text properties. Then the material options. Scroll down and adjust the reflection intensity to 100%. Likewise, set the specular shininess to 100%. Now collapse these sections again. We're ready to animate the 3D text. Expand the camera properties, then the transform options. Add keyframes to the start and these keyframes will have point of interest and position attributes. These keyframes will determine the initial position of the text. Adjust the text according to your preference. This sets the text for the first keyframe. Advance the playhead on the timeline and add new keyframes. These keyframes, too, will have point of interest and position attributes. Alter the text position and point of interest for this second keyframe. This establishes the starting animation. However, our journey doesn't end here. There's more to explore, such as adding effects or background files. I'm simplifying these steps for your convenience. Collapse all these tabs on the timeline for now. Let's apply an effect to the text, right-click on the timeline, go to New, and select Adjustment Layer. This layer sits atop the timeline. Access the Effects and Presets panel. Look for the Glow effect. Drag it onto the Adjustment Layer. And customize the settings in the effect controls. Under Glow Channels, opt for Color Channels. Set the Glow Threshold to 60%, Glow Radius to 50, and Glow Intensity to 1. Choose Behind for the Composite Original setting. For Glow Operation, select Add, and Sawtooth a greater than B for Color Looping. The text now boasts a luminous glow. If you wish to alter the text background, like I've done, import another background file. Simply go to the project panel, double click it, and choose the desired color file. Drag this new file to the composition to create another new composition. Then, return to the original composition and drag the newly created one into it. Right-click on this new layer, click Environment Layer, and voila! Although the text color hasn't yet changed, a simple solution is hiding the first background layer. This switch immediately alters the text color. You can further refine your animation by adjusting keyframes. Adding more or applying easing to the keyframes enhances the animation's fluidity. To apply easy ease for smoother transitions, expand camera properties, access the transform options, select keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and choose easy ease or press F9. 
To add more keyframes, move the playhead slightly beyond the existing keyframes. Add point of interest and position keyframes. Then adjust the text placement to introduce a different animation segment. In conclusion, you've now successfully crafted your own 3D animated text within After Effects. And guess what? It's all free and doesn't require any plugins. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more After Effects tutorials coming your way.